let, uh, let's keep on this um, this idea of money, the financials, okay. and talk about cash flow. Okay. And, and while we're talking about money, I want to say one more thing okay. about that, that existing business owner that wants to expand his company. Okay. And that relates to financials and uh, tax returns. And um, one of the things that I also see is a company can be very successful, but it's when it comes time to actually report those earnings, it's, it's every American's right and or duty to not have to pay more in taxes than they should. Right. And, and we, we see that a lot and that's okay. And there are a lot of ethical and moral ways that you can go in and legally reduce your tax burden by either increasing your expenses or by discretionary legal things showing more expenses and that's okay. The problem that, that happens is when you're ready to expand the company, I'm looking at historical earnings and so if we've paid very little in taxes because we haven't done much in the way of profitability, that can be a double-edged sword that hampers me from being able to go in and lend additional money to expand the company. So I, I guess the expression I want to use is that we just simply don't want to outsmart ourselves when we do that. that that's a very so. good point. A lot of business owners don't think that far ahead in yeah. terms of their future needs yeah. or their future situation. <clears throat> Now, getting back to back cash, to cash flow, flow. Okay. Uh, tell me, why is it important for business owners to focus on cash flow rather than on profits? Well, cash flow is what ends up specifically paying the bills. Let me give you a, a good example. You're a landscaping company, and I'm going to give you $60,000 to go out and do a project. Okay? It's going to cost you $30,000 for um, labor. And it's going to cost you ten thousand dollars for materials. I'm making up all these numbers. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. We won't get into profit margins and all that. And your overhead is going to be maybe five thousand dollars a month. So you plug in thirty plus ten plus five, and this job will have cost you plus or minus forty-five thousand dollars, right? And I'm going to pay you sixty thousand dollars. So your profit is fifteen thousand dollars. Pretty good. That's great. <laughs> and you know, for sixty days' work, that's a that's a great deal. Here's the problem is that you're going to have to pay that $30,000 of wages over 30 days. You're going to have to pay that $10,000 of supplies. Maybe you might get terms from your supplier, maybe in 45 days. And your overhead, your rent, and all of those things are going to be due within plus or minus 30 days. So we've identified $45,000 worth of costs that you're going to have to pay on mm -hmm. this profit of $15,000. Mm -hmm. But if I'm late in paying you the $60,000, or if I don't, heaven forbid, pay you the $60,000, let's be positive and just say I'm late. <laughs> if, if you've got to come up with $45,000 in 30 to 45 days and I don't pay you my 60 for 60 days, you're insolvent for, right. for a few weeks. So if you don't have that cash flow coming in, dollars coming in on time, or you don't have the available liquidity to, to fund those gaps, that's where cash flow becomes a bigger concern than profitability. Okay. What is liquidity? Liquidity is money that you've got ready to convert to, or money that you can use to pay the bills, money that's in the bank. Right. Um, accounts receivable and inventory are two of the things that can actually make up your liquidity. Accounts receivable, in theory, is money that's going to be coming in in cash in 30 to 45 days. Inventory, after you sell it, it converts to cash, but that might take 30 to 45 days. Actual cash in the bank that you can use to pay your bills is, is how I'm really defining liquidity. Okay, great.